हेलो ऑल वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल जर्मन टॉक्स अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आर चैप्टर नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ एंड द फ्रागो नंबर इज फुन जे देर उमजुक श्राइबन जी दी गे जिस्टन नाउ आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑल दिस ओके सो देर उमजुक मीन्स रिलोकेशन एंड वी नीड टू राइट द स्टोरी ओके दिस इज द श्राइबन टास्क हियर नाउ whatever they are doing every day for example freitag montag zamstag dinstag und mitwoch so we need to write it for example here you will see what they are doing in friday uh, on friday they are coming in the wohnung then montag they are uh, signing the contract then zamstag then dinstag and then mitwoch like this so we need to write it okay in a story form one by one for example first we will write this then this then this this and this okay so, <clears throat> so what is what they are doing in uh, picture number 1 friday on friday they are visiting the apartment so how we can write am the am friday okay and then work this is first position now i will write my work so here it is in a um, freitag based istigan wear wear means why wear because there are two person v okay the wohnung see it's in it's a very easy sentence okay for example here i just simply use my first position and then second position and in second position i just used my verb okay and i conjugated it according to my subject wear you can also put this on first position also first second and then third okay wear basis tigan am am freitag di wohnu that is also correct okay so now next what they did after this this one second picture so we are now again unter schreiben we are unter schreiben okay we sign what they sign the contract we are unter schreiben then vertrag and when they did monday so am montag okay again my first position subject and second position verb and i conjugate it with respect to my subject okay now third sentence you can see here they use schlüssel means keys so their vermitter means landlord their this one they are from miter and then gives means given and we conjugate it with respect to third person for meter so gift okay gift uns us then what they give keys so schlüssel okay <clears throat> again with respect to this we simply conjugate it and rest of the sentence okay then a third picture zamstag so am zamstag parkman wear kisten und sen fenster okay see here am samstag parken again verb with respect to wear that's why en okay so on saturday we just pack the boxes and we clean the windows okay now next sentence
of this one fourth one dean stack um dean stack and what they are doing here um dean stack z han via um okay again um z han um z han means to change okay and this is a train baba means this will going to break and if you are using any subject then we will conjugate this part with respect to subject and this will go at the end okay and this one we will second position and we will conjugate it and that's what we did here you will see am din stack zihan and because we use wear that's why we we put en ending okay and um we we used here wear that's why here en okay for example if i will use here ish to zihan and um like this train baba train baba works like this okay i already explained you this thing next sentence wear and what they are doing here uh, of none here they used of none so we are of none we open the door the tour on dragon on carries the boxes so here they use dragon so kisten okay now next sentence for mid walk so am mid walk am mid walk brinked the nak baren einen kyushan okay we will see this sentence also so a midwalk brinked why we put here t see conjugation t because of nak baren okay third person and here we use in you will see here there are two this is for male and this is for female we female we just put i n in the end and we can see in this picture also the female is bringing the cake so a mid walk bring the nag bar in i n cushion cake okay so i break each and every sentence and it's a very simple sentence you just need to put uh, verbs subject and rest of the sentence okay so this was the schreiben part i hope it's clear still if you have any doubt regarding this like if you can you do some little bit changes okay so you can just message me on my instagram okay so till here it is done now next question frage number 6a wo is there schlüssel where is the key ergänzen sie die prepositionen and we need to complete the prepositions okay now first of all in this chapter what we which type of preposition we did the first question is this which type of preposition which we did we did vexel preposition okay so these all are vexel prepositions okay first thing is clear now second thing when we talk about vexel preposition two things will come in our mind that is motion and location okay so i told you for motion or movement we use accusative and for location we use dative okay this complete exercise is all about location we need to check the location of the key or we need to tell the key that where is the key so location okay location of the key where is the key and we need to uh, tell the location so um, directly it will comes under dative okay what does this mean when i say dative or accusative means the articles which we are which we are using here okay the articles okay and shrank takes masculine okay here they all are using shrank only that's why i'm telling you shrank take masculine okay so i will not tell you again and again how this dam is coming okay i think now you already know 
okay if there is data and we need just need to see it's coming to masculine and, and all so that you already know now it is in data and you also know it is masculine so that's for then okay so we will do first one so numa eins der schlüssel ist dash them shrunk okay we can see the here where is the key the key is on the the key is on the cupboard okay so what is the preposition for on we use for on off the schlüssel ist of them shrunk okay now it is dative and we are telling the location the schlüssel is on the cupboard so i just told here the location of the key location of the key okay now if i tell the location of the key that means of comes under dative case one thing is clear second thing what we require the gender of that noun so shrunk takes masculine okay so dative of masculine dative of masculine is them if you will check the table so that's why they put here them okay now this thing i will not tell in other sentence now you can do by your own okay so now second one dash schlüssel is dash shrunk the schlüssel is dash shrunk here in the key is in the cupboard so the schlüssel is in okay now you will check here that they they haven't put any article but we can write how dative of masculine so in and what will come here for example now i just told the location so dative one thing is clear and shrunk shrunk takes masculine so masculine so dative of masculine them okay so i will write here them same like this okay but we also did one more topic composita in that i told you we can also write this thing in a short form this sentence is also correct but you can also write this in them uh sorry im okay the schlüssel is im shrunk the schlüssel is the key is in the cupboard so both the sentence are correct this is just how we write in a short form composita topic grammar topic and this i just told you the logic in plus them okay so don't get confused as why here they haven't wrote here we we need to include here the article <coughs> okay drive the schlüssel is dash them shrunk okay number drive so we see here this is the front part yes and this is the behind okay at the back back of the cupboard so the schlüssel is dash them cupboard the keys is behind the cupboard so what's the word for behind is hinter okay and now you know why here it is then fear the schlüssel is dash them shrunk okay see here neighbor means next to the okay so the schlüssel is neighbor okay so here i will cross with whatever we used of we used of we used neighbor we used hinter and then m see here this one i was talking about for this one okay so in plus them we can write m okay so number fun the schlüssel is dash them shrunk you will see here this means in front of so the schlüssel is for example we say na four nama four nama means first or what we say in front nak means after so four so four means in front of so this one okay the schlüssel hung dash there there one here okay so the schlüssel hung on on means on so on this one 
ओके ऑन द वॉल अगेन लोकेशन द स्लूशल इज डैश देन श्रांक कैन नाउ यू विल सी हियर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस श्रांक ओके दिस इज प्लूराल दिस वन इज प्लूराल ई एन एंड ऑल्सो उमलाउट ओके वी से ना दैम दैम दर दैन इन डाटिव केस दिस इज डाटिव केस डाटिव रो दैम दैम दर दैन यस मीन्स मस्कुलिन न्यूट्रल फैमिन एंड प्लूराल दिस दैट्स वाई हियर दैन कम्स फ्रॉम दिस वन ओके प्लूराल केस एंड वाई हेयर इट इज दैन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस and why here it is there because of female one of feminine okay now i think it's clear why it is here is them there and then because of plural then so if you are talking about plural then here more than one and it is see here for example in english we say the key the key is between the cupboards okay the key is between the cupboards so for between what's the word zushin this one okay and uma act the shlushel is dash dam shrank okay the shlushel is dash dam shrank this one so uber o here in this one ninth you can see here it's under here yeah, this is the cupboard and shlushel and the key is under under the cupboard okay so unter the shlushel is unter dem shrank okay so i hope uh, i have tried my best to explain you this one because from past lectures also whatever we did in in the previous chapter in the previous lectures also we did many times this exercise vexel proposition so my main motive is now you will not find any difficulty in your a2 and b1 level because accusative preposition is direct the okay this proposition is accusative and it will dative also but in vexel there is sometimes confusion because it will take accusative or it will take dative so we did practice of both the both the prepositions accusative case also dative case also and this complete is about dative so you can also write it here okay in a in a big note that for example like this that vexel prepositions and these all are dative case and you can also write the reason because of location okay like according to you you can write okay i hope now this is clear so Fragonoma sex B. Huron. Er zählt von ihre Wohnung. Like she is explaining uh, the apartment. Wo state was? Huron sie und Notieren sie. Ein, zwei, drei und vier. Der Esstisch means dining table. The washing machine is. Der the sofa is. Der Fernseher is. Okay. so in the huron now again i will tell you the trick in the huron your main focus is this thing this thing this thing and this thing you just need to tell about the vonu like she will tell where she put the estish dining table where she put she will tell the uh, the name of the uh, place where okay the washing machine where she put sofa and fans here okay so you just need to noted out that that thing okay so you can easily do this here and so we'll do first and then we also see the transcript okay gabe 6b die neue wohnung hi alex hier ist kira hi kira na wie ist die neue wohnung super daniela und ich hatten keine probleme alle möbel haben einen platz oh dann war es besser als bei uns Also, der Esstisch steht jetzt doch im Wohnzimmer. Die Küche ist zu klein, leider. Dafür ist die Waschmaschine in der Küche. Da passt sie genau rein. Und was ist mit dem Sofa? Passt das noch ins Wohnzimmer? Na ja, passen, ich weiß nicht. 
aber es ist im Wohnzimmer. Alle anderen Zimmer sind zu klein. Die Bücherregale sind jetzt in meinem Zimmer. Ja, klar, du liest ja viel. Ist der Fernseher dann im Schlafzimmer von Daniela? Genau, Daniela findet das super. Und ich habe noch Platz für meine Lieblingssessel in meinem Zimmer. Also seid ihr beide glücklich. Ja. Wann kommst du uns denn besuchen? Vielleicht am Sonntag. Mal sehen. Okay. Now we will see the transcript, okay? Gabe 6b. Die neue Wohnung. Hi Alex, hier ist Kira. Hi Kira. Na, wie ist die neue Wohnung? Super. Daniela und ich hatten keine Probleme. Alle Möbel haben einen Platz. Oh, dann war es besser als bei uns. Also, der Esstisch steht jetzt doch im Wohnzimmer. Die Küche ist zu klein, leider. Dafür ist die Waschmaschine in der Küche. Da passt sie genau rein. Und was ist mit dem Sofa? Passt das noch ins Wohnzimmer? Naja, passen, ich weiß nicht. Aber es ist im Wohnzimmer. Alle anderen Zimmer sind zu klein. Die Bücherregale sind jetzt in meinem Zimmer. Ja, klar, du liest ja viel. Ist der Fernseher dann im Schlafzimmer von Daniela? Genau, Daniela findet das super. Und ich habe noch Platz für meine Lieblingssessel in meinem Zimmer. Also seid ihr beide glücklich. Ja, wann kommst du uns denn besuchen? Vielleicht am Sonntag. Mal sehen. Okay, so this one also the answers are direct only. For example, Estish. Estish state, you just need to see for Wohnzimmer. Okay, for washer machine, Kyushan. And for sofa, Wohnzimmer, like this. Fernseher, im, uh, Schlafzimmer von this. Okay, and genau, Daniela findet das super. Okay, so this one is easy only. So I hope this theorem is clear. Now, Frage Nummer. 6. C. Wo sind die Sachen? Where are the things? Important Z. Das Wörterbuch hilft. Okay. For example, Nummer 1. So, Nummer 1. Wo sind denn die Suppenteller? Where are the soup plates? Okay. So, here we need to see. And also, they give the clue that with which, with the respect of which, we need to tell the answer. Okay. They also give the hint. With which respect we need to give the answer. So, where are the soup plates? First, we will see the soup plates here. For example, this one. These are the soup plates. These are the normal plate, this one. And these are the soup plates. Okay. So, we will see the answer. Links unter of then teller. Here they give the answer. Like this we need to write. So, links. Links means left. Unter. Under of the plates. So under on the plates. So the, here are the answer of okay. in the left under the uh, plates are the uh, soup plates. Okay, like this. So now no more why und wo sind die wine glasses and where are the wine glasses and we need to give with respect to shoe shell. Shoe shell means cup. Okay, cup or bowl. So for this first you need to see the cups or bowls here. So we can see here cups or bowls. Okay, so with respect to this we can write. So the answer can be open and then on the right side. So reds Uber then Tasse. Okay. Over the cups. <coughs> Dry. Ich finde den Kaffee Kaf nicht. I, I, I don't find the coffee. So, with respect to Zucker, we need to tell the answer. Easy. How we can write this one? For example, here you can see here is the coffee and here is the sugar so on the right hand side so rest unten and next to so neben them and zucker in on the right hand side under 
and near to the sugar this this part und der zucker and where are the sugar and milk we need, need to give respect to milk so how we can write here is the milk so again unter unten and then next to so neben them and milk you can see here under and next to the uh, milk is a sugar like this number 5 jetzt brauche ich noch eine eine tasche wo is the then and now i need a cup where is then so with respect to back a back means jar okay so first we will see here the jar and then with respect to that we can uh, tell the answer okay so for, where is the cup first we will see the cup uh, for example here we can see in the middle uh, this and here are the jar and we just need a cup so in the middle in there mitte neben because it is next to so neben then bashen jars okay und eine und ein löffel and a spoon wo finde ich den where i can find the spoon so with respect to gabel und messer means fork and knife so how we can write this one again it is un, uh, here not in the middle or no, not on top so unter and between zwischen then abel und mess okay in the middle of fork and knife this spoon okay so that's why we write it like this this is just about how we can uh, tell which thing is where okay okay frage number 7a it's a, a lesson so lesen sie die mail von marit über die wohnung markieren sie alle positive aus ausführungen okay ausführungen means expressions or comments or comments okay grün und alle neg negative ausführungen im rot okay so they just told that we just need to mark it in the green all the positive ones and in the red with negative one like this root okay so we will do this one we just need to highlight if it is positive or whether it is negative okay hello kevin endlich haben wir eine wohnung next day woche können wir ein sie okay first we will do some grammar here see for example here again this is a train bava okay it's a train bava but we have not break it this train bava why because we are also using here the modal verb okay if you will again do the revision of my uh, the video which i made on train bava there i told you modal verb plus train bava that's why i haven't break that's why we haven't break here the train bava okay so the wohnung is gross und es super the the apartment is big and it's a good super aber ich muss noch viel tun ich habe viele uh, alte sachen i have uh, too many old things die will ich nicht mitnehmen that i don't need to bring with me mitnehmen means uh, to bring with and here they use not there are old things which i don't want to bring with me der sessel gefällt mir nicht mehr okay the armchair here this i also told you in the starting this word armchair and gefel means to like okay so the armchair i don't like that much und das sofa is hässlich hässlich means uh, awful you can say okay or ugly eine einen sessel brauche ich auch nicht okay aber ein 
aber ein Sofa möchte ich haben. So now she is telling that uh, this armchair I will not bring Brauche means I don't need it but ein Sofa möchte möchte ich haben but I, I, I want to have a Sofa. Das Wohnzimmer ist toll. Es gibt einen Balkon und von, und von dem Balkon ist uh, Platz für uh, für ein Sofa. Hier, you can see just describing about the apartment so as gibt einen balkon there is a balcony und von dem balkon and there is a balcon and there is a place for a sofa that's why she's telling that uh, i don't need this armchair but i i still have a sofa because there is a place for that sofa das ist da is as hell hell means bright und man kann lesen and there is a uh, bright and one can read there das finde ich schon that i find very beautiful the kitchen is shown perfect okay the kitchen is also perfect alles is the everything is there okay washing machine hai spool machine hai head das is super head means stove okay spool machine hai dishwasher washing machine spool machine and head das is super und mein zimmer mein bed is okay aber Der Schrank ist so klein, but the cupboard is very small. Ich brauche Hilfe. Hast du am Wochenende Zeit? Kannst du mir beim Einkaufen helfen? Ruf mich an. Again, train bauer. Anrufen. Okay, and they break it down. Okay, so now we just need, need to check the positive expression. So we will mark the position positive with a green one. Okay. Okay, so these are the some expressions which are in positive and negative okay next question sieben uh, b marit sucht ein sofa und fragt ihre freunde ordnen sie die kommentare von ihre freundin zu okay so now she uh, they, they are searching for the sofa and they are asking for their friend for example this one eins zwei drei vier fünf sechs und Sieben. You just need to tell. They are talking about which sofa, according to the sentence. For example, first one. Das Sofa finde ich super schön in Blumen. Okay. So, the sofa I find super and beautiful flowers. This one. Yes, means they are talking about this one. Because here there is a print on on that sofa. So a, ah. like this we need to tell a ah, b oder c. So number two, the sofa is best in Bequim. Bequim means comfortable. So the sofa is comfortable. Abar the far bay is hasslish. Hasslish means ugly. Okay. So from this A B C, what can be the answer? Sofa is comfortable, but the color is ugly. So we can see this one B. Okay. Dry, taller farbe, but fila is too gross. Means good color, but fila is maybe too big. From this three, A, B, and C, which one is too big? Sofa. Obviously C. So we will write here C. C. Uh, no more fear. Ha ha. Das hatte mein Oma schon. It's in the comedy sentence. This sentence. So, like my Oma already had that sofa. So, like old modish. Yeah, like some something which is old. So, from this three, this a a one is old. So a. Uh, Fund sehr modern again now, very modern. About ich finde es nicht schön, but it is not that much beautiful. So this one. Say. Zex, das ist perfekt für deine Wohnzimmer, kleine aber fein. So it is perfect for your bone zimmer, kleiner, but fine. From this th A, B, and C, which one is small? Obviously B compared to A and C, A and C so B. The sofa gefällt mir super für drei Personen genau richtig. Okay, so th that sofa uh, I like it. Uh, I liked it for three person exactly right. Okay, so which one can be the answer from this one? For three person, this cannot be for three person. Maybe for two person. This is too big. 
not exactly for three person here they use genau exactly right so for this one one two and three we can say so ah like this okay and this one is uh fragonoma zeban say schreiben type for photo uh, photo a b on say now it's your task for your schreiben practice because i also told you today the schreiben of uh, this exercise so like this what we did here now it's your task to do for this one you just need to see these pictures and you can describe about this one about the color about the size and all your friend like it you like you you like it or not same like this you just need to write the some sentences for a b and c okay so this is you for homework okay and you already know on instagram you can contact me for these things okay so this was all about chapter number 8 okay now in the next lecture we are we need to start chapter number 9 okay as i already told you in there there is a grammar topic that is of perfect okay which is very very important first thing for your goit exam for your expression schreiben lesson second thing after this 9 chapter now there are more uh, there are not that much chapters until 12 this 9 chapter grammar is is very helpful for you for your a to level okay so this is for your exam and for your a to level this grammar topic is very important okay so we will do this per, this topic because when we will do this perfect topic na then this whole sentence structure will going to change okay that's why it is very important topic okay now you will see that how this whole structure of the sentence are changing whatever we did about the verbs now it will going to change little bit okay so we did till chapter number 1 till 8 how was the how was the your experience you all, you liked all the lectures please let me know in the comments and yes the more this chapter number 9 topic is important the more we will do all the complete practice of this a grammar topic okay and you will not find any difficulty in your a to level also and also in your goite exam in schreiben and lesen part okay so yeah that's all for today danke schon auf wiedersehen ciao